Right now I don't know what to expect from UFC, from everybody. Uh, world became crazy with uh, all of these fights, with uh, Conor uh, against Mayweather and uh, anything uh, would happen. Maybe uh, one, one day I will try myself in professional boxing, uh, who knows. So, but we'll see. <laughs> Alexander, Derek Lewis' last fight was not the, not the best fight in the world. I'm sure that you watched it against Nganu. Do you take anything away from that? Is there anything that can be learned from that, that strange fight that he had last? Uh, I probably understand one, uh, why this fight uh, goes uh, like this. Uh, this uh, uh, in this fight, both of uh, uh, fighters uh, try to be patient, try to lose uh, all, all the power during the fight. So, like a uh, sportsman, I understand why the fight goes like this. So, of course, uh, as a fan, uh, it was a uh, not really interesting fight for me. Uh, but. Uh, of course, I, I, uh, I, this last fight of my, of, of my opponent, and uh, it is his uh, actual uh, form, uh, actual shape, uh, and probably uh, it was not so long uh, uh, ago. Uh, I mean, of course, I, I take something from, from, from this fight for, to, to my next one. How do you approach a guy like him? Because he has big power, he's unorthodox, he doesn't, he doesn't come at you with kind of uh, the regular angles. How do you approach that? Uh, you know, uh, the, the problem is uh, because I'm really high. Uh, all all, of, all uh, my opponent, opponents have uh, not uh, orthodox uh, striking against me because they usually need to uh, hit higher. Yes, and uh, also they uh, make something new uh, fight with me. Uh, so I just. Uh, of course, I'm uh, looking how he move, how he how he do in his fight. Uh, uh, so uh, it really doesn't matter uh, how how good he will be. It's matter how, how good will be I am. Does this win get you a title shot? Do you think? Uh, Over Francis Ngannou and also obviously he's fighting Curtis Blades in China. Uh, we have also Daniel Cormier too. Oh, Daniel Cormier, Sipmiocic uh, too. Uh, so we have uh, some kind of triangle with uh, uh, fighters, uh, or maybe. So I mean, uh, all five of top, top five in ranking right now can fight for the title, and it will be depends uh, on uh, a lot of things and uh, how he introduce himself, how we, uh, they will sell uh, his fights, uh, of everything. So. Uh, if I will show really great performance uh, October 6th, uh, for sure, uh, for sure, I think uh, UFC will be looking on me as a contender uh, uh, to, to the next title shot. You, you mentioned before the UFC is kind of crazy and you know the Mayweather-McGregor fight, you might go to boxing, but when you look at yourself, you're on this nice streak and you got Brock Lesnar coming and getting that immediate title shot. What do you make of that? I don't understand. I forget. What do, you think about, what do you think about the fact that Brock Lesnar is coming in and yeah. getting title shot straight yeah. away, whereas you've got yeah, a win streak? Uh, I, 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 could, I can understand this. I can understand because Brock, uh, Brock Lesnar is a really big name and all uh, events where uh, Brock Lesnar was, uh, they have a lot of views, a lot of fans, a lot of sales, a lot of pay per views. So uh, I uh, understand that. Uh, this fight will be really good uh, for our sport, uh, and this means not just uh, uh, Brock Lesnar and Daniel Cormier. This means all heavyweights became more, more popular uh, with this uh, name. So uh, I have no problem with this. Uh, if he will come back, maybe he, uh, if he became a champion uh, one day, I, I will meet Brock Lesnar too. It will be really uh, nice for me also. Were you surprised that Fabricio over Doom, uh, your last opponent, failed a drug test recently and now he's suspended for two years? Uh, not really surprised with this. Uh, not because I'm thinking about he used something. No, uh, I don't think about it. But uh, uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's his deals. Uh, if he use it, uh, he just. Uh, uh, take out uh, herself uh, in uh, f from uh, UFC ranking and this means he will be two years out of the fight and uh, who knows uh, can he uh, come back or not uh, after after this because he is uh, have a uh, high age for uh, 
for, for, for fighting. Um, uh, I think it's like uh, his problem, and uh, uh, I'm not really surprised with this, and I don't don't think about it. What is do you it, think about some of the most iconic guys in your division testing positive for PEDs? I mean, if you go through the list of the guys ranked, guys from Alistair Overeem to other huge names, even guys like Brock Lesnar, everybody has had issues with USADA and PEDs. Does it make you worry about when you fight in this division that there's such a high number of guys having problems with PEDs? Uh, do you even think about it before you fight a guy if he's clean or not? This is scary ways. Uh, before you see, I fought with uh, a lot of guys who for sure was on, uh, on drugs, uh, uh, on steroids, on everything, for sure. This like, uh, uh, if you win these guys uh, in uh, another promotion or everything who, who is uh, under drugs, under uh, something, you uh, just don't think about this in the future. So I just uh, don't, don't think about it and don't care about uh, if somebody take drugs uh, because uh, me as a fighter uh, is a good fighter making not uh, using drugs or something uh, it's just hard work just smart plan of on the fights uh, everything that, that uh, not include uh, any cheat, uh, cheating or something so it's a choice of these guys because it's also uh, depend a lot of his health and the future then don't think about his health, about the, uh, the future, fight, uh, future fighting. Uh, I'm, I'm just thinking about it, about my own body, uh, and I just, just don't care. Uh, it, the choice of this guy is because time is putting everything on his, uh, his place.